I'm going to roll out a few slabs of clay. I'm using the wooden battens to make sure that I get nice and evenly rolled out, but they're a bit thick, so once I've started it off, I'm going to carry on a bit without the battens. The clay has gone what is known as leather hard, so it's been quite difficult to roll out. I've been outside with my children and we've picked up some leaves and things that we can press into the clay. If you see some smaller hands now, they're my daughter's, so she's having a go as well. She's only six. We decided to take the clay outside and press into some surfaces. It came out pretty well on the rubber mat outside the door. I think like a brick wall could work well as well. So now I'm just sticking the pieces together. So I've got to do um, my scoring technique down the sides and then I'm going to be adding some slip. Because the clay is quite hard, I'm having trouble getting it to connect together well. So I'm really having to use the tool as well to push it together. I'm using the batten to get some straight edges before I'm joining the pieces together. I'm only going to use three slabs of clay for the three sides and then another slab of clay for the bottom piece. And I was going to make like some sort of spout to make it more like a teapot, but I've decided that that's probably a bit difficult and I haven't got the time to do that. So I'm just going to make a handle out of a little piece of the slab of clay that was an off cut. I'm making my own slip there in a little, in a little um, like pot that I've made with the clay, a little pinch pot. I'm just adding water to that with the little dried up bits of clay and making my own slip. Because I'm having problems with getting the slab of clay to stick together. It's just trying to get the spout right so that it'll actually work and pour properly now. Just edging the top a bit neater. I could do like a pattern in the top though. I mean, I could make it like a scalloped kind of edge. You don't have to use this uh, sharp knife tool like this though. You can use like the, the wooden tools or the, there's plastic tools. And then I'm just putting the bottom on. The, the bottom slab's the easiest one to put on because I've only got to draw around the shape that I've already got cut then. Starting my slip again. 
trying to neaten up the edges, blend it in a bit more. And once I've tidied it up, some of my markings have got damaged, the little impressions that are made in the clay slabs. So I'm just going to get the leaves and maybe um, in some areas on the bottom where I've joined the extra piece on for the bottom, if I can just sort of imitate what it's already like. Oh yeah, then I just tried a little bit of water inside to see if it would pour, but I tipped it out quickly because I don't want it soaking through my clay. And there you go, that's my finished jug.